Well, just, how do I explain this? How do I lead it in this the right way? I kind of feel like I got slighted on the first date, I'm not gonna lie. With me? Yeah. Okay. I didn't get any of this accent <laughs> stuff going on. I'm like, how in the world, how, what? I was not privy to uh, the Russian accent or anything else that you bust out. Any crazy stuff? No, no I'm a little I'm upset about like, that. <laughs> it's gotta like, you know, you gotta be really comfortable, like, and with, it doesn't usually come out on the first date. It doesn't? So I would have to say, no. Okay, okay, no. so I'm not. So, no, no, it's not like you're right. any exception to the rule. Okay. It's more of the norm. Yeah. I'm not, and I'm not asking for you to perform on the spot, but no, I just, no. I will say, yeah. I will feel like I've accomplished something if I get you to feel comfortable okay. enough tonight to share the accents. Okay. So. Well, good. I'll, I'll do my best. That'll to, be my measure. <laughs> they just come out, I mean, in different situations. So if we keep talking and. It'll come. Yeah. In choosing my date activities, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I had different things that I wanted to do, things that I like, but, uh, you know, I was picking certain guys for certain activities, thinking this would maybe bring out what I wanted. So. Sure. I'm actually really excited about what we're doing tonight that I think it'll, I don't know, it's a little more crazy and fun that yeah. if that stuff's in there, I think, I think you're able to show that a cool. little more. Hopefully, so you, you hopefully you feel comfortable out, in that. Yes. Okay. So the second dates are all up to me. Okay. That's why I'm driving. That's why right, I'm still. Right, a little weird. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I'll allow it. <laughs> well, and it's funny because when I'm, like when I'm dating someone, I do usually then kind of, you know, toss them the keys yeah, and let sure. them drive even if it's my car. But at the same time, I feel like just really okay. be taking care of you guys, treating yeah. you. So equal rights for women. I'm driving it's you okay. this time. <laughs> right. It's not because I'm yeah, like the the girl that says, "Oh, I need to be in charge of that." No, sure. I don't need that. Nah. But but um, do you have any guess at all at what we're doing? I, I don't Can know. You even I, fathom what it would be. No, I was trying to think of like what we're gonna do outside right now. So I was thinking maybe horses or cows, building a barn. Milking, <laughs> building a barn. Mil milking something. I don't know. <gasps> hunting. Milking cows would be cool, actually. I've never done it. Right. I would like to do that someday. When I thought if we were riding horses, I probably would have been encouraged to wear pants. I, this is true. I would not have. or something. That wouldn't work out so well. Right. Okay. Um, so I've, I've overheard that we're driving somewhere that's an hour away. You did And then that? I heard a rumbling about a uh -oh. lake, maybe, or something, and some mm. salad bowls. And some salad bowls? Uh, that might have been the crew trying to throw them off. <laughs> but, uh, and oranges, I don't know. That, that might have been them throwing you off because I don't think that's related okay. at all. Scars are displayed in the front And I might ask to be introduced to you But I can promise I'll put up my hands So I can then refuse And maybe I'm an iconoclast by rote But what's one more body against the foundations Of Cliff Evans placed by stone I'd Rather hear myself shouting over a stupid crowd Rather than hear what you have to say
would you like? So let's say me and you were dating exclusively. Okay. Not me and you and twenty other guys. <laughs> You, you don't like that? that? You don't you don't like that stuff? I kinda like to feel special. Yeah. Okay, okay. So me and you were dating. Mm-hmm. What do we do on a weekday? I mean you're the kind of person so that's like a separate question, but that leads in this the first question would be, do you like to hang out a lot during the week or is it like boyfriend's a weekend thing or Oh how's it work? Well no, definitely no. If I like someone when we're dating, I want to see as much as I can. Right. Like I'm, I'm not one that needs alone, quiet time. That's not my gig. Mm-hmm. I want to be around people. That's where I get my energy from. So, you know, I definitely want to see my boyfriend every day. Kind of right. Um, when it comes to what we do and stuff, though, I mean, I have a lot of things going on in my life mm-hmm. that I'd like for them to be able to kind of fit into that. Right. It's nice we can do a lot of things together. Mm-hmm. Um. But sure, I can be just as much as just being around each other. It doesn't have to be grandiose dates all the time. By oh, yeah. Means. Right? Right. Help each other out with chores and cook dinner together and just hang out. Yeah. It's always totally good in my book. Nice. Um, are you that way or are you more like, nah, I'll, I'll get to you on the weekend. <laughs> during the week is my time. No, I usually like to jump in head first and just spend a lot. I mean, if you're into someone, then you want to see them. So you do jump in pretty quickly like, because you know how those relationships where you meet, it's amazing, you start hanging out every single day. Right. But a lot of times it's over in like two or three weeks. Yeah. Versus the go out one Slower. weekend, go out the next weekend, and kind of build right. up to it. Are you consistent? I've in always, one way? I've always jumped in, but now I think I'm smart enough to jump in wisely, you know. And so you jump in, but it's not like the same mistakes you made before. But, yeah, and I think it's like, you know, you can do all the things that you would normally do. Go hang out with your friends, go to the movies, but you just have a partner in crime that's with you all the time and can fit into those situations, and it's it's an upgrade. I totally agree. Yeah, I'm very much that way. And I, and I typically am one that I like to jump right in. Like, I actually don't play games. I don't want to. That's not my style. But sometimes that know. sometimes that pushes guys away, right? When I'm not right. hard to get. If I like well, you, I like you. So, I don't know. It's hard. Because, yeah. The game you like the is, chase? Do you need the chase? No, the game is just ever-present, you know? It's just hard to... Avoid the game. Avoid up. But that, I mean, if you came out straight up and said from the beginning, then maybe that would work. Well, but tell me, like, with these girls that you, that you do dive in with, I don't imagine they're coming to you and being like, hey, I really, really like you, we should date. Right. It's more you saying, oh, I want this girl, I want to chase her, I want to get her. And then when you say, hey, let's hang out, they say yes, and then you go, and that's how it usually goes. Yeah. Yes, I'm saying like way too much is bugging me right now. What was that? I'm saying the word like too much. Oh. It's bugging me. I get in a rut sometimes when I'll say one word once. And I can't get rid of it for the next hour of conversation. They'll take it out in editing. Maybe. I know, right? <laughs> uh, so. mm. That's been really good. Um, I'm a huge fan of this hummus. I know, right? I'm in love with this hummus. Love with the hummus, huh? Yeah. Pretty intense. So you guys are really enjoying your hummus. Mm-hmm. It's awesome, actually. Am I getting somebody else to drive <laughs> for me? I did to claim to be the that. rock, so here's my chance to prove you it. You did claim to I be did. the rock. Solid as a rock. <laughs> it's true. And then, of course, the jingle came to my mind. Yes. Yeah, that would be very helpful, actually. <laughs> Bad. Nah, don't worry about it. But my dad always taught me that you feel tired. If you feel tired, you gotta pull over. Smile, ga yon den yo.
smile has been calling me for a long time. Sometimes it squeezes by in smirks. Tried to cover my ears, pretending not to hear. Like Rebecca. Let's learn the language of the trees. I'll hunch my heart to my knees. Prepare a Pegasus for every naked face. Inhaling hope through furrowed frowns. You think I sold my soul to Satan? I swear I gave myself. <laughs> no, I mean, on the surface, yes, you would think if a girl falls asleep on a date, that's really that's bad. That's usually a bad sign. It's usually a terrible sign. <laughs> and you should just pack up and go home. But, right. uh, I don't know. You got me in a good mood, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I think it shows that you were comfortable enough just to relax when you needed to. Well, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. It also shows that I'm just completely wiped exactly. out. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. That's too Top your dormer window Where the whole world and no one can see Can be an anchor right in this breathless city We can practice sociometry Line up sophomoric slams with slander Pressure pain dignity with love's lament Derail the amorous with his silver swagger Allows you to come down hills down here. You don't have to use the brakes at all. The truck will actually do the braking really? for The truck is doing all of this on its own. Yep. That's you just want to go a little faster, you just give a little kick up the gear. <laughs> and you just try That's to incredible. Why you go so fast? <laughs> I'm just scared. <laughs> nice trick. I like that. We assume, we assume you know how to drive this thing. <laughs> <laughs> 